Ireland is sending a team to the European Karate Championships in Munich next month. Although we've competed before, this year the team will be organised by one national governing body. Four different styles of karate will be represented. This year also there'll be a ladies team and a junior section. The championships are organised through whatever main body the organisation is involved with. Each body has their own squad training, you know, eliminations where they select their best men from each organisation. When this is done, they collectively come together with under the Irish Karate Control Board as a national squad team. And they continue the training, you know, for about two, three months prior to the championships. And the best selection is made from the, the national squad then, yeah. rather than from any individual style. Now, karate has been known as a divided sport. How many different regulatory bodies have we got in this country at the moment? Well, over the last 10 or 15 years, we had many bodies, you know, supposedly being the representative for karate in the country. And indeed, many bodies have went to COSPOR, the National Sports Council, trying to get recognition for whatever organisation they belong to. And it's just of late we have got a letter from COSPOR recognising two governing bodies for karate in the country you know, through their own inquiries into who was official or who wasn't official. And they've come up with two main organisations ourselves and another organisation and they have suggested that we should come together, two members from our organisation and two members from theirs, together with two members from the government to form a new umbrella organisation to absolutely governing karate, karate in this country. And hopefully then you'll get some sort of government sponsorship. And hopefully then that we will be sponsored through COSPOR for sending proper national teams away where it would be, where the national team would be selected from every organisation in the country rather than p from organisations that just felt that they were the people to select a team. Quiet. <laughs> Okay, I